Welcome to Let's Talk About Pools today. And today's sponsor for this episode is Skimmer. So continue listening after their sponsorship ad because today's episode is on Skimmer. So enjoy the episode with the guys. It was a fun talk about their product, Skimmer, and how it helps pool service professionals manage their pool routes and so much more. So enjoy. This is Skimmer, software for the modern pool professional. What can you do with Skimmer? See all your customers on a map, build service routes quickly, and let Skimmer optimize them for you. Access customer information, including contact details and full service history, anytime and anywhere. Customize work orders to track jobs like repairs and filter cleanings. Email your customers when you complete a service. You can include service details and on-site photos. Does your customer need a part? Add it to the shopping list and track it from purchase to installation. Skimmer will even remind you what parts you need for the day, and you can mark them as installed right when you're finished. Skimmer doesn't just store your service history. It helps you get paid. We integrate with QuickBooks Online for fast, easy invoicing. And we've got more billing options coming soon. All that's just the beginning. Go to GetSkimmer.com to watch our demo video, check out our online tutorials, and see if Skimmer is right for you. Hello, everybody. To my podcast, Let's Talk About Pools today. And today I've got two awesome podcast guests. First time I've had two ever. I've had one before. And they're going to talk about the Skimmer software and the Skimmer app that I think a lot of you have heard of. It's awesome. So my podcast guests today are Ryan Hash, Director of Customer Support, and Jack Nelson, who's the CEO. Welcome, guys. How are you today? Hey, great. Thanks for having us. No problem. Hey, hey, how are you? Doing so, great, thanks. Tell me about you guys. Uh, I'll ask uh, Jack first. Tell me about yourself. And Well, I'll, I'll go first, but Ryan's going to do the majority of the talking because he's the one who really kind of helped build this incredible app we're talking about today. Um, I am uh, the CEO, like you said. I joined the company in October. My business partner and I were looking at a lot of different pool software technologies over the summer to try to invest in. And we found Skimmer and just fell in love with it, everything about it. And so uh, we, we pulled the trigger. My background is I've, I've run a few companies before. And our idea with this one is we're just going to try to grow it as, as quickly as possible and make it an even better app than it is today. Awesome. What, tell me about you, Ryan. So I came on with uh, Skimmers a little over three years ago. It was, uh, it was actually my brother who created it. And uh, he was uh, the one who you know did the initial build uh, and everything. He was the one who talked with pool guys at the very start and said, hey, what are your pain points? And what are the things that an app could do to actually help you? And uh, not long after it was off and running, um, uh, it was getting to the point where he needed someone to help him talk to customers and and help them if they had questions and everything. And I was at the point where um, I was really wanting like to leave the corporate work I was doing and jump in with the startup. That sounded like a lot of fun to me. And uh, so I ended up saying, OK, let me jump on and uh, start working with your customers. And I've been with Skimmer ever since. Awesome. And you having fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Our <laughs> customers are great. And it's nice to be someone who they can call and like get a good answer for. So it's really satisfying. Awesome. Awesome. So tell me about the skimmer software and the skimmer app and how you came up with this software and how long it's been around. And yeah. Uh, so I've been, uh, like I said, with uh, the company about three years, it was running probably about a year before I came on and, you know, just it, it had started then and it was, um, you know, Ron took it slow at first because, and he wasn't advertising or anything at all because um, he just wanted to spend time building the app uh, and, you know, making it the best it could be and really concentrating on having the best possible product. Uh, and that's about the point when I came on, when, it, when, you know, customers were starting to come in, we still weren't advertising, but the focus was on, let's just, you know, make this the best thing it could be. Uh, and that carried over to the customer support. Uh, we wanted videos that people could watch that would teach them exactly how to use the app. We wanted someone available as much as possible on phone and email so that, it, you know, it, it's tough learning a new software, you know, especially if you're out in the field trying to get work done. And if you can call someone, if you're stuck on something, or if you have a question, man, that's just priceless. Um, and we wanted that to be a really 
stellar experience because we know how tough it is if you're trying to do something and no one's picking up the phone or you're not getting any help. So we wanted both ends, like how the software works and how the customer support was to be the best that we could possibly make it because we wanted people to actually feel like they had like an ally with them out there in the field when they're doing their work. And that's the philosophy that's informed everything we've done since then, both in the upgrades that have been built into Skimmer since then. And as we've continued to grow our, how we support our customers and things, that's always been what we've kept in mind. We, we just want it to be the best possible. Wow. Awesome. Do you have anything to add, Jack? Well, yeah, I think it's, it's telling that you asked about the software and Ryan really just went right into the customer support because that is just one of the key sort of DNA parts of the skimmer DNA is that customer support. When we were looking at different software, um, platforms this summer, we, we hired a group to do customer surveys to see how much the Skimmer customers liked the product. And they did a survey and they said some, the results from the survey were some of the best they've ever seen in any company ever with something called a net promoter score. So the customers absolutely love the product. And obviously we'll talk a lot more about the features and why they love it. But, but what Ryan has built around the customer support is, is, is really impressive. And, and, you know, that's so important when it comes to a product is having that person that answers the phone for the customer that they're having an issue. I mean, some cus uh, companies you call and you get like the accountant answering and they don't know how to help the customer. Technically, they, uh, you know, they're they're just answering the phone at the time. So that's so glad to hear that 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 can be rare, you know, in a company. Yeah. And well, and I'll tell you what makes my job easier is that from the ground up, uh, when my brother was designing Skimmer, uh, it was built to solve problems for pool guys. It was built to actually save them time out in the field. It was built to take a lot of those, those, those pain points that they were experiencing and uh, solve them as much as possible. And so from the ground up, that being as helpful to the pool guys out in the field was the whole philosophy. And so uh, that's the way the, the app continues to be built. And that makes it my job a lot easier because I know that from the ground up, we were built to help you. Yep. Which is my listeners. All right. So what is a skimmer software and how does it help a pool service company? Yeah. So it's a, it's a combination of a, a phone app or a, or a mobile app uh, and a website. Uh, and as I said, it's basically built to relieve a lot of the pain points that the pool guys experience, um, you know, managing routes, uh, especially if you have maybe a few guys working for you. Uh, we, we talked to guys at the very beginning that um, they were either dealing with software that was clunky or just with paper binders uh, and trying to manage their guys and know what they're doing. And if a guy gets sick and they got to change the routes around, it was such a pain that have to meet somebody and take their binder and, uh, you know, give their pages to uh, uh, one of the other guys. Uh, and then, you know, they get to the end of the month and it, it, it's just a pain to go back in the records and look at everything that they've done and say, okay, well, what do I have to build the customers? And, and uh, how do I communicate with the customers? I got to write this door hanger every time I'm at the stop. And that takes me time as well. It was all that stuff that, that Ron talked to pool guys about. Uh, and they were saying, man, can you help us with something that's just going to save us time and make this a lot easier? Uh, and so that's how Skimmer was born. So uh, the app was born for the people out in the field uh, to very easily be able to record their work and communicate that to the customer. Uh, and then we have the website that is built uh, with a lot of uh, the administration tools. So uh, managing the routes, managing your techs out in the field, lots of cool reports. Uh, and they all talk to each other. It's all cloud-based. So what you do on the app and what you do on the web, uh, they talk to each other in the same account on, on um, up in the cloud. So that every what you do on one is going to reflect on the other. Uh, you know, just everything we can do to make it easier for you. That, that's awesome. I, I remember seeing like... Yeah, I'll, I'll add a couple... Go ahead, Jack. Well, I was just going to add a couple features that, that Ryan just briefly touched on. Um, we do invoicing. So at the end of the month, the admins can uh, generate invoices. We push it all to QuickBooks online so they can bill and get paid for their work. We do automated door hangers. So as soon as the tech leaves the house, an email goes to the inbox of the pool owner that has photos of the pool that shows what the readings were, any instructions. Um, we also have a shopping list in the app. So when the tech's in the field and says, oh, the Nelsons need more, uh, you know, chlorine or new filter basket, they can populate the sh uh, shopping list. 
And we also have some work order functionality that uh, folks, as they have work orders and repairs, they can use Skimmer to do that. Oh, that, that sounds really cool. And I, I've seen the app out in the field myself, guys, and it was pretty impressive. I was out with a pool company down here in Florida, just doing my little go out with a residential uh, pool service company, which I was very happy to go out with them because I knew a lot about public commercial pools and I wanted to see from beginning to end what residential was doing. And they use that type of software a lot more than commercial public pool service companies do. So it was very interesting to see how easy it was for them to say they brush the pool, they vacuum the pool. It was just slide a little thing over. They put in all their pool chemical levels and then they were able to email. My, my question for you guys, does it GPS uh, like where they're at when they email that to the customer or do you have that function yet? We're not a real time GPS tracker uh, at the moment. We do have other things uh, that can help to demonstrate to the customer that, that you were actually there. The emails are date and time stamped. Uh, and one of the things that we do that um, a lot of our, our customers like is you can attach photos to a service email that's going to go to your customer. Awesome. But those photos have to be live photos. So it's not something that uh, like a tech can take a photo a couple of weeks ago and then upload that photo while they're sitting at home. Uh, it, it has to be taken their live right on site. So the nice thing about that is that you as the business owner know and your customers know that when you get this email and you got a picture of your, your, like your nice clean pool, you know the tech actually had to be there on site to do it. Well, I think that's plenty of proof right there, don't you? Yeah. Uh, and uh, as far as like... Uh, tracking and everything you can still even though it's not like location tracking uh an admin can very easily uh look either on the website on the app and, and see their text progress so if i'm a tech out in the field and i've done you know five of my 10 routes for the day that gets uploaded to the cloud and so the admin who's running that route can look at it on his end and say oh my guy's finished five of his 10 routes and so yeah there's uh, uh, some nice ways to make sure that the work's getting done out there I, I think that's awesome. I think that's almost better than the GPS location because they're getting pictures that they can't upload, like you said from before. It has to be right then and there while they're at the pool or they can't send it at all. So they know they're there, but mm -hmm. it's visual proof, not just a satellite saying you're there. I think that's awesome. And that's one of the biggest things I've heard is that with companies, they say that customers constant, constantly complain that, the tech, your tech wasn't there. Mm -hmm. You know, they made stuff up and they sent it to me. So trying to prove a pool company, trying to prove to the customer, my tech was there, you know, because you, you hear the customers will go, that spider web wasn't moved or I put something there on purpose and, and it, there's no way they were there. So th this is a great function. I, I think from the things that I've heard and all the other great functions that you talked about prior to that as well, it sounds so very neat and that you've tried to think of everything administratively to help a pool service company run and communicate with each other and that kind of thing. That's so cool. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Well, and I'll tell you, um, a lot of the upgrades that we're doing now and some we've done in the past and a lot that we're looking at in the future, that's directly from our customers because, uh, you know, they're the pool guys that are out there in the field every day. They're the ones that are going to know what else Skimmer can do that's going to help them. And so as we add more features, uh, it's largely from customer feedback. So we love hearing from our customers and learning how we can make Skimmer even better for them. Well, I can tell you one customer in Vero Beach is using it and it's Trident uh, pool service down there. Nice. So he, he's been using it and I was out with a couple of his techs. So they seem to like it. So what are some of the unique functions of your software? Well, I'll tell you some of the features that some people, like a lot of people comment on that they really like. Uh, for one, getting started with your routes is super easy and it's super quick. So right away, when you get your customers into Skimmer, you can within minutes start building service routes uh, and you can see everything plotted on a map. Uh, it's very easy to tell whether you're, uh, you know, you've got someone across town that maybe shouldn't be on this route and maybe you should change them to like to another day or another tech. We also have, automatic route optimization through Google Maps. So not only can you see and rearrange things manually on a map, but Google will help you. So you give it a start point and an end point. 
uh, and it's going to give you the most efficient route for the day. And not even just for your, um, like your customer locations. If you tell it you want to start at your house or um, start at an office or even a Starbucks or something, it'll, it'll you can choose, <laughs> you can choose that as the start point. Uh, and uh, it's going to say, okay, here's where you want to start. Here's where you want to end. And uh, we're going to give you the most efficient route. And I've had a number of people come back and say, you know, I thought that I had figured out the absolute best way to route everything. And uh, you ended up giving me recommendations that ended up saving me like half an hour a day. So uh, it ends up, um, you know, translating just into more efficiency, which, you know, is going to equal more money for people. Uh, in addition, we have a QuickBooks Online integration, um, which was one of the first integrations we built because uh, a pretty good chunk of our customers uh, who came to us use QuickBooks Online. And so uh, it makes it really easy to, at the end of the month, take all of that service that you've done, everything you've done for your customers, package it up really nicely, and then it will export it to QuickBooks uh, and auto-generate those invoices for you. And I've had people tell me that they used to spend a solid day, sometimes two days every month, just getting their billing out. And then once they've got the system kind of cracking along with Skimmer, it may take them an hour or two. So uh, it ends up cutting out a lot of pain when it comes to getting paid. Uh, and we've got more coming with that. In addition, we actually have uh, an internal billing solution and a, uh, a way to invoice and get payments directly through Skimmer. That's going to be uh, an upgrade that's coming pretty soon this year. Um, wow, those awesome. are things. That, yeah, uh, those are things that people really like. Um, Anything, as far to as, it, anything to make it easier, right, Ron? Ryan? Anything to make it easier, yeah. Uh, and as far as the ease of like what it takes to learn learn the system, like a lot of people who are interested in Skimmer will say, how long is it going to take me to like figure out how to use all this stuff? Well, not only do you have the phone and the email that you can reach out through, but we have about 75 different training videos on the website. Uh, and we make those. They're only a few minutes each. We make them specifically to teach you how to use uh, every feature that Skimmer has. Uh, and the way we do it is whenever uh, an upgrade comes out, pretty much the same day that upgrade grade releases, we also release the training videos for. Uh, so you're not left to kind of, you know, flounder around and try to figure your way through it right away. We're going to make sure that you have the training you need. Uh, and uh, and again, of course, if, if you get stuck on something, you can always call us and uh, and we're happy to help. Uh, and I had mentioned some of the other things that people really like, uh, you know, they love the, the ease of being able to communicate with their customers uh, and they like being able to demonstrate that they were actually there. And it's so much easier to rearrange routes and uh, just with a few taps, essentially, if, if you got a guy who's out sick or, or a holiday week and you got to make some rearrangements, it's just a few taps and a couple of minutes really to rearrange your whole route. You can even set it to where, the next week when you're back to normal, it'll go back to normal and you don't have to do anything. It's just automatic. So uh, like I said, we try to build things to just make your job easier. Yeah, and Lauren, one of the, the it's hard to kind of articulate or quantify what makes Skimmer so different. But one of the things we found is just the overall user experience is so much more pleasant. They, they Ryan and, and Ron did such a great job just designing a simple app that's very intuitive and logical and, and it's easy to get around and it does exactly what you need it to do. Not a whole lot more, not a whole lot less, but it's just a very well-designed app. And, and in addition to all the features and the great support, just that ability to do it simply because these pool techs are, they don't have a lot of time to be learning a new software, nor do the admins. And so just that that having that simplicity really. It's, they're product. very busy. They have right. so many pools they have to get done. So using the technology like this to be able to give them more time is a great thing. There's so many different apps that will do different things. And this one specifically in this, you know, niche of customer management, but having that, you know, customer support is a biggie there. Somebody calls and they're having an issue that they can get somebody to help them through it if they're having that issue. That's awesome. So can this, so I, I've already heard the software can be used on a phone, uh, on a phone app. What other, what platforms are they available? What is it available on? What functions can be done on the phone app compared to the computer on the website? Yeah, we are uh, compatible with Apple and Android, and that means both phones and tablets. Um, you know, as long as it's uh, not a super old device, then uh, we're compatible with pretty much uh, most of the things that are out there. Um, and yeah, there's two legs to Skimmer. So the mobile app uh, is where you're going to do your work. 
Uh, now, if, if you have an admin level access, then you can also do some administration and things on, on the app as well. Um, but in general, that's what you're going to use out in the field. That's what you're going to say, hey, I'm at this customer. Here's uh, the work I'm doing. I'm going to record that. I'm going to snap some photos uh, and I'm going to make sure that that email goes to the customer. Um, uh, your texts uh, are basically going to see what's assigned to them. So it's very targeted. You know, they're not going to be distracted by a, a lot of other extra information. Uh, if you're someone like the owner or an administrator who's also out in the field, if you need to, you can pull up, uh, you know, your customer list to see all that information. Uh, you can still administer and rearrange the routes right from the app if you need to. Uh, so there's lots you can do wow. to still manage every, yeah, lots you can do to manage right from the app if you need to. Uh, if you are someone who's in the office, uh, then the website's going to be your best bet. Uh, a lot of the functions that are on the app as far as uh, managing the routes, all of the rearrangements and reassignments, watching progress. Uh, you can do that uh, on the website as well. And it's actually even expanded because you have so much more space on the screen. So uh, there's some more functions for being able to manage all the work and the routes. You've got, uh, like I said, the really nice big maps that are going to show you really nicely plotted right on the map exactly where everybody uh, is doing their work. Uh, we also have a number of reports. So it's going to make it super easy to say, okay, um, let's say I want to see, um, like all the service that I've done for these customers this week, uh, you can go to our invoicing report, which basically shows you all the work that's been done, uh, for all the customers in a given period of time. Or if you want to get more targeted, if you just want to see what are my chemical dosages for this month for customers, you can look at a report for that. Or, uh, what's my, uh, what, uh, parts have I installed this week? You can have a look at that. Wow. You can also so it does it help so inventory management a little bit too. So and yeah, it, chemicals it's, and parts and stuff that you may have, you, you could pull a report, see what you did for the week and then be able to keep track of that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, it's bent more towards like um, what you've sold to the customer. So it's closer to a shopping list than like a full on inventory list. Uh, but you do have some options for keeping track of like what's on the trucks uh, that's out there in the field. Uh, we also have a whole dashboard that you can look at uh, work orders, what's been scheduled, what's upcoming. You can look at the full history of uh, actually not just work orders. You can see the full complete history of everything. So uh, if you want to go into, you know, two, three weeks ago and, and double check what you've done for a customer, even right down to the photos, uh, you can do all that. That's also where our QuickBooks integration is, is on the website. Uh, and uh, that's where you can uh, do things like manage the service emails service emails, there's, you've got lots of options for uh, how you want it to look, what do you want it to say, what kind of information do you want it to include, uh, and you, you would manage all those options right there on the website. So uh, it's meant basically to help you do all that administration work for your job. Ooh, that sounds like so much. <laughs> yeah, it's a <laughs> no lot on there. Why, what, no wonder why you made it simple to use because it does a lot of functions. I didn't even realize all the stuff that you said it did. So my question for you, because I didn't realize some of the functions of it. So like they can put in the amount of chemicals that they're using at that pool. That's what you're going to mainly going to do on the app. That's what the guy out in the field is, is, is going to indicate there. Um, but whatever they put in the app, that's going to upload to the cloud. And whoever's in the office using the website is going to be able to see all those numbers. Uh, yeah. So that's going to help. One of the other big issues that I hear a lot is managing the chemical use when you have multiple texts. Because sometimes people have, kind of create their own little route over here and they try to use their current company that they work for like chemi so this is kind of that inventory i was talking about they can kind of keep track of the chemical use and it doesn't match what's on their truck are they asking for more than what they should be using theoretically within a certain you know plus or minus level so that's really cool because i hear that as a issue to monitor so this would help a little bit with that absolutely because you can look at chemical usage either by customer or by tech um, so I, I've had some pool guys tell me, hey, you know, this would be a great tool for um, spotting. Like, let's say I've got a tech who maybe they're new, maybe they're overusing chemicals and it's a good training tool because I can tell them, hey, I've noticed you're using too many chemicals for this or that. Here's the best way to do this. And then not only does it help them train, it also saves them money because they'll see where they're being less efficient with the chemicals uh, and they can track their profitability with all of that. So, yeah, it's a great way to see what your guys are doing and see where you can be more efficient. Awesome. So is there, I know you mentioned a little bit earlier, 
Um, any new functions or additions to the software coming up in the near future? Yes, we always have a pretty full roadmap of uh, the things we're going to be doing. Uh, so the next big one we're putting out is going to be that internal invoicing and payment processing system. Uh, that's uh, we've had lots of people request that who they either they, they want an alternative to QuickBooks or they're coming off of some other system and they would rather just use one app or one system to do everything. And so that's going to allow them to do that. We're going to be having broadcast emails. Uh, that's coming pretty soon. So uh, if you want to send a particular message to certain groups of your customers, it's going to make it super easy and super smooth to do that. Uh, we're also going to cool. be uh, looking into bringing some texting features uh, into the app because we know um, some of our customers, you know, they say that, that their customers uh, don't necessarily always look at their emails. And so <laughs> man, it'd be so nice to have text to send them. So uh, that's definitely on the list of things uh, we're going to be looking to do. Those are, uh, for the next uh, several months, the big ones we're going to be looking at. And then we always have these little refinements that we want to do. We call them like little quality of life upgrades, things that uh, our customers will reach out and say, you know, this one thing that you do, we like this, but could it do this other little thing? Or could we rearrange this or that? And so we're always looking at those little refinements to make to just to make your life easier. Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll piggyback on that and say we... We made a, are making a pretty substantial investment in the development of this. We think we've already got just a fantastic foundation, but we can do even more with it. And so we are actively hiring develop, the developers and really trying to build upon what we have because we think we did some research and this, this, is, this market is still really untapped. There's still many folks out there who are using pen and paper. And so we just, it, the more features we can build out while keeping you know, the simplicity in mind, I think the bigger the audience we can reach. So how do they, do they go on to like their iPhone or their iPad or whatever device they have and they download the app? And then how do they get the skimmer on their computer? Explain the, the acquisition of skimmer for the pool companies. Sure, they'll get started on the website. So getskimmer.com is our website. Uh, they can go there, they can see uh, a, a demo right on the front page and uh, learn a little bit more about what Skimmer does. There's a sign up button right there as well. Um, that'll take them through a startup process that'll help them get their account going. Uh, it'll guide them through that and kind of get them going on the, on their first on their way, the first few tasks they need to do. Uh, and essentially, as soon as they get their uh, sign in and login set and everything, they can download the app. Uh, and they can log into the app with uh, the account that they set up on the website. So it all works together. And is the, what, what's the kind of pricing? Is there levels of pricing for packages and, and functionality? Or is it just you get Skimmer, you get the whole thing, and you get all the functions? Just so it's the based, listeners know? Yeah, it's based on how much you use it, actually. So the first month, it's just $29, regardless of uh, how much you use it. And starting in month two, that's our regular subscription program which is 50 cents per serviced customer uh, with 29 being the minimum. So usually the example I use is, hey, if in a month you service 100 customers, it'd be about 50 bucks. Um, and there's no extra uh, charge for users. You can have as many users as you like. Uh, and we do offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. So uh, you sign up uh, just like a regular user with Skimmer. And if you like it, you can keep right on going without having to worry about entering in more information. Uh, if someone decides it's not for them, they can very easily cancel. And within those first 60 days, they'll get a full refund. Okay, awesome. So they can go to getskimmer.com and that would uh, get them there, start up their account. So everybody knows where to go. All my listeners, getskimmer.com. If yes. you're interested in this awesome uh, app and software to manage your customer base. So did Jack or Ryan, do you guys have anything else that I haven't talked, we haven't spoken about that you want to bring up to the, our, our listeners? I, I'll bring up one, one general point. You know, when, when Ronnie and then Ryan started this company, it was, it was really probably more geared for the smaller pool service providers. As we've grown, as, as they've done an incredible job growing Skimmer, we've got so many new features now that are geared not just for the small guys, but the bigger guys. So I think there's a, a misconception that, oh, well, you know, I'm too big. Well, I'd say just the opposite. We have companies that are servicing thousands of pools a month and using Skimmer. And again, their techs can pick up on it quickly. So 
Um, and, and that's without some of the new features we're rolling out. So I think, you know, sort of like if, if you like it now, just wait, it's going to be even better in a few months. That's awesome. Well, it's been great talking to you guys today. This, uh, I was uh, really excited to talk to you guys about this uh, app and the software. When I saw it on social media and then went to the website and then I, I saw it before I went out with that pool company and then I kind of connected the dots to what I saw on social media and I go, I, I've seen that somewhere. So it's kind of, it was, it's so exciting to talk with you guys today. And I thank you for being on Let's Talk About Pools podcast today. Thanks for having us. Hey, this was great. No problem. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. You too.